Oh, hey guys. Sorry, I saw I was running late. Thanks for ordering for me already. Uh, nice day out today, isn't it? I guess, I guess you guys thought I was hungry. You ordered every single hamburger that we're doing right now at Melt Bar and Grilled. So, thought it'd be fun to sit outside on the patio today, chat a little bit about what we've got going on in June. Hi everybody, uh, this is Matt Fish, owner and founder of Melt Bar and Grilled. Got my cool guy shades on today, got my cool guy haircut going on. We're sitting outside at our Independence location. Beautiful sunny day here, June the 8th. Got the Cavs uh, game four tonight downtown, so go Cavs. I think we're gonna take one tonight, send us back to Golden State. Uh, win four in a row, I'm hoping. Um, so, hey, June is here, it's nice outside. The patios are open. So let's talk about that first. We've got patios all throughout the company. There's only two locations that we have at Melt Barn Grill that do not have patios, so we have 10 locations, 11 if you count Cedar Point, so we've only got two that don't. So get outside, enjoy the outside weather. We are open, you know, seven days a week, Monday through Friday, lunch and dinner. So come see us. Independence Patio is beautiful. Down south in Columbus, we've got patios. Dayton, Akron, Canton, Avon's got a beautiful patio. So come see us. If you're out at Cedar Point, we've got some great indoor outdoor dining there. I hear there's a new roller coaster out there. It's awesome. So check it out. But June is here, so Let's talk about what we've got going on here. June is still burger season. So you guys know this is the last of three months for burger season. So this is your last chance. You've got how many days are in June? How many days are in June, Anthony? I don't know, 30? 30. 30, it's the eighth. Let's do some quick math. So we've got counting down how many days are left in June for this awesomeness. So I don't even know where to start. Let's, you wanna go around the table? Ladies and gentlemen at home, let's go around the table. I guess we start here. This is our barbecue pig burger, backed by popular demand. Our house-made barbecue sauce, onion rings, pulled pork, cheddar cheese, that's a winner. Winner, winner, it's delicious. Next here is our wake and bacon made into a burger. Uh, it's called the breakfast burger. This has been an old school favorite for years and years, classic. Um, next to that, the Diablo burger, which is selling really well this year, hot and spicy. Grilled jalapenos, the sweet chipotle sauce, Pepper Jack cheese, hot and spicy. The devil loves that one. Uh, over there, we've got our bacon and peanut butter burger, provolone cheese, house made peanut butter, hickory smoked bacon, fresh ground burger, provolone cheese. That's a sleeper deliciousness right there. Sleeper delicious sandwich. Back here, the classic black and blue burger, onion rings, blue cheese, crumble blue cheese, blue cheese dressing. Um, awesome. This is a new fan favorite right here, the French onion burger. It's got our signature French onion dip, caramel port onions, um, the fresh made burger, the fresh ground burger on there. We've got some onion straws on there. Um, Swiss cheese, so it's kind of like a French onion soup, maybe. Um, what else, did we hit them all? Last but not least, I think you guys are hopefully familiar with this guy here. Um, oh, did I skip one? What's this guy? Oh, wait, okay, so. Let's go backwards. Rewind. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so let's pretend that we started over. This is the, I'm, I'm backwards here, so I'm reading this backwards. Have you guys ever tried to read a book backwards? It doesn't work very well. So this is the, um, the breakfast burger. This is the Fat City Burger. Two famous burgers we used to run way, way, way back in the day, back in Melt. So this one's got uh, honey ham, salami, bacon, cheddar cheese, and Swiss on it. All right, that's, that's the jam right there. Not not taking anything away from the breakfast burger. The breakfast burger is delicious, but both of these, old school classic. And you guys have seen this. We've done videos of it in the past. If, you, if you've been to Melt, you see this bad boy walking through the dining room. Everyone's head turns and was like, what the F was that? Well, this is the Reverend Horton Meat Deliciousness Burger. It is two of our kindergarten grilled cheese sandwiches with American cheese, deep fried, battered and deep fried as the buns, two of our eight ounce fresh ground burgers, hickory bacon, a total of 12 slices of American cheese, hand cut fries, no contest to finish this guy. So share it with your friends, bring your neighbor, eat the whole thing in one sitting, take the rest home tonight, watch the Cavs game. It's awesome. So this was named after a good buddy of ours in New York City named The Rev. He invented the sandwich. He was here at Melt one day and said, Make me the craziest burger you guys can ever think of and come up with. 
and this is what we slammed in front of him and he fell in love with it. So we call it the Rev for that reason. Rev, if you're out there, rock on, keep it, keep it melt strong in New York City. So these are the burgers we're running all month, available all the rest of June. Uh, we also have our delicious melt potato salad, which is stuck way back here. You can't even see it over top of all this burger madness, but melt potato salad, classic recipe, three different types of cheeses in there, um, our red skin potato. This is awesome. I'm actually eating this a lot so far in uh, April, May, and June. Um, we've got three different drink cocktails, beer cocktails that we've got going on. First one's right in front of Anthony right there. He claims that he is a mojito fan. That's what he says. He says when he's vacationing in the tropical islands, he likes to drink the mojitos is what he said. He puts his pinky out when he does it. Mm. So this is our cactus flower mojito. So we've got some Bacardi silver in here. We have fresh lime juice, some cactus flower puree. You see guys got some fresh lime juice or some, some fresh uh, mint leaves in there floating. This guy's delicious. Very refreshing. Anthony, take a break from recording and try that. And you're going to let me know how that tastes compared to uh, other mojitos you've had on your island tropical adventures. Island mojito approved. Island mojito approved, straight from Anthony. Former metal guy, now listens to The Grateful Dead. We still love him. He's an island guy now, though. Hmm. Put that back up front. Two beer features for June. Um, we'll start with my favorite. This is our collaboration that we're running with Fatheads Brewery, based here in Cleveland, Ohio, in Pencil Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is a delicious IPA that we created with Matt Cole, who's the head brewer over there. It's called Drinking Good in the Neighborhood. Why is it Drinking Good in the Neighborhood? Hmm. Wow, because A, it's a very delicious, well-balanced IPA. A lot of hop flavor in there. Um, but they have joined us down in Canton, Ohio. They've opened up a location uh, very close to us. So now we are in the same neighborhood down in Canton. So we decided to name it after the neighborhood and down in Canton. So we're neighbors, so drinking good in the neighborhood. This is good. Let me read what's in this bad boy. So. Aggressively hopped IPA is a perfect pairing to your delicious grilled cheese sandwich. Centennial hops, a lot of citrus and floral in here. This guy's good. Seven and a half. Oh, 7.7 ABV. So be careful. Anthony's driving me home after these mojitos, so I'm, I can, I'm good. And Jackie O's, if you guys are familiar with Jackie O's Brewery, they're on Athens, Ohio. So two awesome Ohio breweries we're featuring at Melt Bar and Grilled all month. This is the Jackie O's Raspberry Wheat. Pounds and pounds and pounds. 420 pounds of natural raspberry puree, to be exact, is in this brew. It's a good light wheat beer for the summer. Mmm, very good. Very, a lot of raspberry flavor in there. Real light. You could put back a bunch of these guys. The ABV is a little less. Five and a half, 5.5. So. I wouldn't mix the two, but wow. Real good, real good. So, you guys have seen what we're doing all month here in June. You noticed um, if I pick up my glass here, my, my, my cactus flower mojito, or I've got our new Pepsi glasses here. We're featuring Pepsi Cola products that melt now. Um, so we got some new glassware. But you're noticing something, I don't have a straw. You know, normally you go out to dinner, everyone, they just drop three or four plastic straws at the table and walk away. Well, we are featuring an awesome campaign right now at Melt Bar and Grill. And it's not just now, but it's going to really continue, I think, for the rest of time. Um, we're becoming very, obviously, eco-friendly. Um, so we started a campaign here at Melt Bar and Grill that's called Skip the Straw. And we are partnering with the Ocean Conservatory. Um, this big promotion started on the coast. So East Coast, West Coast. Really, it was started like, how can we reduce the plastics that are going into our waterways? So... It's a big, strong movement on both coasts, and now it's here in uh, the Midwest, here in the Great Lakes region. So we are jumping on board very early. We are partnering with the Sustainable Cleveland, and our goal is to prevent as much plastics to get into the Great Lakes and our waterways as possible. So it's very simple. We still have straws that melt, 
We know there's still some patrons at Melt that really like their straws, kids especially, so they're still available, but we're simply not going to be dropping off straws with our beverages any longer. If you would like a straw, not a problem. We have them, we can bring them over. Just ask your friendly server, bartender, or host, or manager. But um, we're seeing actually a really, really, really strong response. There's been about nine out of 10 people that are ordering beverages now at Melt are saying, you know what, cool, I appreciate what you guys are doing. I don't need the straw today, thank you very much. So. So here's cheers to the waterways, keeping our Great Lakes clean and safe. Um, obviously, we, we, we don't know how the campaign is going to end up, but we are going to continue doing this. We think we firmly believe that it's a very good thing to do. Um, it goes along with a lot of our packaging and a lot of the other things that we do at Melt Bar and Grill to be as eco-friendly as humanly possible uh, when running a, a large restaurant company in Ohio. So cheers to everybody out there. Fatheads Brewery, get the melt all June. Come and sit with me on this beautiful patio. I've got a lot of food here. Um, I hope that our people are going to start showing up to help join me to eat this, Anthony, because uh, you promised me that they, we were expecting um, some friends and neighbors to come up and meet us here. They haven't shown up yet, but maybe they're downtown for the Cavs game. We'll see, but come see us tonight. Come watch the Cavs game with us. All weekend we'll be here. Patios are open. It's beautiful. It's June. It's Ohio, people. Let's go. Go Cavs!